Hi, my name's Ken uh, from Photo Barn in East Burwood in Melbourne, Australia. But wherever you are, just uh, going to run down uh, a few things about loading film uh, into your cameras. So, first, first thing I've got to say is that I'm going to talk like a kindergarten teacher for a moment. But um, film's light sensitive. And it's so light sensitive that exposure on the film in your camera could be a thousandth of a second and that will form an image on the film. So obviously if you expose the, the film to light, it's going to be ruined. So when you're loading the film, when you're taking the film out of the camera, always remember if light gets onto it, it's ruined. Okay? So that's, that's an important, important thing. So I'm going to start off with um, loading a camera. Um, I've got a couple of cameras here, really only just to show you that they're all very, very similar. There's subtle nuances, but basically very similar sort of things to, to do, to work with. Uh, this is an old 1960s era camera. Um, in, on this one, you open the film back here. So you just pull that up there. Your camera may not look like that, but the inside will look very similar to what you see here. Okay. So the film is going to sit in here. It's going to pull over this cog here, tuck into the slot here, and then we're going to wind it on, close the door. But we'll do that slower. And I think I'll use this other camera to show you. This one's a similar era camera, but it's an SLR. Now the reason I'm choosing that is uh, there's some subtle things that are a little bit different, but hold true to the other one that we looked at. So, on this one, you open the, open the door just by pulling up the, the lever and that opens the door. It would stick, wouldn't it? There we go. So you can see, very similar on the inside. The big difference between this camera and this one we looked at before is this area here. And this is why I've picked this one. This is the shutter on the single lens reflex camera. And that's probably the most fragile part of the camera. Keep your fingers away from it, bottom line. Okay, now I'm going to put the, the camera down on the bench and, and load it. I'm going to try and load it upside down. Let's see how we go. So, first thing to do, we, get, we pull the knob up. That allows the film to sit in there. So, the film drops in like that with the, the little knob of the, the film cassette down and goes that way. That closes down and we just pull the leader out and tuck it into the slot here. And then just wind the film on. I just put my thumb carefully on the, or just softly on the, the take up. Uh, so that it's just making sure that the sprockets are meshing with the sprocket drive there. And that's all of the film that you ever want to see. The take-up, we can check, the take-up is, the film's in the take-up spool there, the sprockets are meshing with the sprocket drive there, the cassette's sitting flat and the film's coming out straight into the, into the um, the, the take-up spool. So we can close the door down at this point and then wind it on. Now we have to fire it off, wind and fire. Now you'll notice that the, the sprocket, uh, the sprocket, the counter is going on but that's not the good test of the film winding. Importantly is this one. So just open up the crank handle. Notice the, the little arrow there. If we just carefully and softly wind that into the direction of the arrow, we're taking up the slack in the, in the light tight cassette here. So as we wind it on, we can see that turning. Fire it again. That's how you'll use it. But you can see that that's turning. That's absolute proof that the film's winding on. So, 
the frame count is up to number, or about to be up to number one. Remembering what we're doing here is we're moving the film that was exposed to light out of the way. It's now wrapping around the take-up spool and the film that we're putting in, pl in its place is ready to take photos. So we wind it on, fire it, and then the next one will be ready to roll. And you can go out and take your photos. Now, there's a couple of other things that you will have to look at depending on your, your camera. Uh, one is the film speed. Now the, the film speed is the sensitivity to light. And this film that I've put in is a 400 speed film and that's the most common one these days. So that's probably what you're going to put in your camera. What this does is it calibrates the light meter in the camera to suit the speed of, or the sensitivity of the film. On this camera, it's a, a little dial here. We pull up and turn and get that to 400. So now we've calibrated the meter, we're ready to go. Okay, so let's go out and take photos. We're back, we've taken our lovely photos and we're getting to the end of the film. The frame counter on the camera is nearly up to 24 shots. This film is a 24 shot, worth checking before you take photos. But there we go, I'm just finishing off the, the film to get to the end because at the end it goes tight. So what you've got to remember, what you've got to imagine happening in here is the film has come out of the light tight cassette here, come across, the photo's been taken and moved out of the way and it's all wrapping around the take up spool here. At the end of the film, the, the film is still attached to the, the cassette here. We can't do any more, we can't take photos, we can't wind it. Don't force it. If it's stopped, it's for a reason, okay? So we've come to the end of our film. What we need to do now is to rewind the film back from this take-up spool back into the light tight cassette. To do that on this camera, and they vary slightly from camera to camera, but mostly will be about the same. First thing to do, we press the button on the bottom here. That releases the gears that we saw earlier that are in here. And that's where the film's transported over. So we're remembering that the film is wrapped around the take-up spool, we need to get it from there back into the light tight cassette. So we press the button on the bottom to release the gears, open the crank handle, and remember the crank handle from earlier, note the arrow, and we wind the film back. Now always, always, always in the clockwise direction. Just slow, steady, gentle turn. Obviously, Harking back to what I said about the film being light, light sensitive, you don't open the back until the film's back in the cassette. And when we get to the end of the film, you'll hear it come off like that. But if you're in doubt, just keep winding. You'll do no harm. Okay? At that point, we're fairly confident, or very confident, that the film's back in the light tight cassette. And we can open the door, and there it is. Okay, there's your precious photos. So that's, that's it. Again, you shouldn't see any more of the film than what you've seen today. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, just, you'll get good at it, you'll practice, and it'll become like breathing. You'll just load and unload your camera without even thinking about it. But when you're starting off, really important. Again, emphasise, the film's light sensitive. If you open the door of the camera while the film's out, it will ruin your photos. Okay. okay, so that's, that's just loading and unloading the camera, a bit of the, the film handling. Um, look, it's a great hobby, you'll have a ball. It, it's so fantastic, uh, it's artistic, it's creative. Uh, just follow those simple directions and you won't have a problem. Um, you won't be destined to a, a road of disappointment sort of thing. There's nothing worse than getting a film back that's been light fogged or um, just through some silly mistake the doors open of the camera. So keep, keep your friends away from your camera if they're not sure what they're doing. Don't let them open the camera, remember. And again, the kindergarten teacher in me comes out. The film's light sensitive, very, very light sensitive. So keep the door closed until you're safely back in the light tight cassette. Okay? 
have fun, have a great time, enjoy photography.